Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm just bringing up the screen. And, whoops. Hey, Sharon and Tony, welcome back, guys. All right, hey, Donna, how are you going? I'll just wait for a couple more people to join in and then I will make a start. Pop that little guy aside. So how's our afternoon going? Can you all hear me okay? I've just noticed I've got a bit of table camera wobble. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can fix that. <laughs> Um, Sharon's just made a comment saying she's working on the Lady Garden page. While I'm waiting for a few people to join in, I'll just um, briefly tell you what she's working on. I have been doing some online classes through private Facebook groups, which is fantastic because you can work at your own speed and... Sorry, the dogs have decided to start play fighting outside the door. Um, yeah, you can work on your own, work at your own speed and you can... Um, create your own art journal pages in the privacy of your own home which is awesome so the last page that we did was called lady garden and this is it here because there's a lady and she's in the garden but you kind of read between the lines on that if you wish so if you are interested in it um the online classes are super fun and easy and I, yeah, I just add you to the private Facebook group and then you can join in at your own leisure. So, oh, thank you, Sharon. That's fantastic. So what I'm going to do today, um, this afternoon's little Facebook Live, I have got my small Dilutions art journal here. So this is a, a much smaller journal and I thought I would do a quick art journal page using Stencil Girl Stencils. So this slightly weird one and then this guy as well, which is what's called an artist trading card uh, stencil, but I like to use it for the small little images. So I'm going to make a bit of a start and just going to whip on through doing those. So when I do my art journal pages, doesn't matter what size I'm working on, I like to put a piece of paper under each page because what that does is it just gives me a little bit more protection for the page underneath and so I don't totally ruin that. Uh, and I'm just going to fold that under and pop a little bulldog clip on the corner there just to keep that open because it's a little bit bendy. Uh, so, Sorry guys, I'm just getting myself organised a bit here. Lining it up on screen, there we go. So for those of you watching on a device, um, if, you have, if you can see all the comments across the bottom of your screen, all you need to do is just flick those across so that they disappear and then you can see where my, my hand is. So, um, alrighty. So what I've got here, my art journal, um, I've just given it a super light brush of gesso. I've done that because I haven't exactly worked out what I'm going to do yet. So uh, I thought I'd, I'd put some, put some colour down first and I might just use a few of the different paints between, I might go between Dilutions and Dina Wakeley paints. Just giving that a, a little shuffle. And I'm going to create a background using a couple of different colours. So this one here is pure sunshine. And I'm going to use my catalyst tool, my palette knife, to lightly go up and down like that and just get that paint on. So the good thing about doing this is that it puts on a thin coat and it spreads it out. Okay? just like that and it dries much 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 quicker so you really don't want to spend the next half an hour watching me dry paint 
So this colour is Peony Blush. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. In it working in a vertical stroke so that I've got consistency across my page. So I'm not going to cover my whole page. I'm actually going to leave a few white spots as well just so that I can... Um, so I've just got a bit of balance, really. So, um, and I might pop on next a... Oh, I'm a bit indecisive about colour today for some reason. Um, a very small amount of Mango Punch for a bit of a pop. And that can just sit over the top. I can apply it straight to my palette knife and swipe it up and down. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm building my, my background. Okay, so it's a bit of a hot mess at the moment, but this is just the under layer. This is just my base layer. So this sort of technique that I'm doing here is super easy for lots and lots of different things. Meaning you can do this technique with, oh shit, this, with card making. Um, you can make card fronts like this. You can use it for scrapbooking. You can use it in your art journal. You can use it in lots and lots of different ways. You don't have to look at this and go, oh, well, Natalie's only doing art journaling. Um, I'm not interested in art journaling. That's okay. You don't have to be. But you can quite easily transfer this over into lots of other different crafts. Okay, so what I've done is I'm building up this layer. I'm trying to get nice, even, smooth coats. And that red's pretty dominating. It actually looks like blood red on screen, but it's not. It's more of a hot pink. Um, and what you'll see is I've taken it off the page up here, off the page here, and down off the page here. And the same on this side. Because it needs to be connected to the top and the bottom and it's or on, on at least two or three sides so that it is anchored onto the page. Um, now while that is wet I'm going to use a baby wipe and this stencil and I'm going to rub a little bit off. So what's going to happen is it's going to leave this pattern here which is exactly what I'm chasing. So, just like that. And I'm going to pop another one up here. So, a baby wipe is a very awesome craft tool. Very, very handy to have. I'm only going to do that. Oh, I might pop some up over here as well. And you kind of have to work semi quick so that your paint, if your paint's drying, then you can move it around a bit. Um, so thank you everybody for watching my last live Facebook I just did a little earlier today the uh, with alcohol inks. If you have missed that, you can scroll back through my Facebook feed and watch it anytime. And at the end of today, I will actually upload it to my YouTube channel. So... Um, which is Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas, I think it is. So you can look it up and see them there. And you can also see the uh, the last ones that I did as well. So, okay, so you can see what's happened there. I've got these really cool little love hearts going on and they are working really quite nicely. So nice and simple. I don't want to overcomplicate it. Um, I can't believe those bloody dogs of mine have chosen this afternoon to do zoomies and go crazy in the backyard like seriously they are going absolutely nuts out there um okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use lemon and just pop on a little bit of yellow over the top so i'm just going to use my fingers oh look at that and i'm using my yellow fingernail just swiping a little bit on here as well, just to give it a little bit of a pop. Just to give it that little bit of a pop there. 
Um, so for those of you just joining, joining for the first time, uh, I'm involved this weekend, or this weekend, this week and this weekend in the Great Australian Craft Show. So what that is, uh, is the opportunity for you guys to attend a craft show without actually having to leave the comfort of your own home. So there's lots of different exhibitors and everybody has got some amazing specials. If you are paper-based or fabric-based, there's lots and lots of different things available for you to see. And there's lots of craft, crafty, crafty people who are, have got some amazing specials on. So this weekend, I have got a ton of specials available. And each day, I have got a different special as well. So today's special is... Pintor paint pens, which are these little guys here, and I'm going to be using these uh, towards the end. Uh, these today are 15% off for one day only, and there's a huge range of colours available in those and different thicknesses as well. Um, so back to my little art journal page. What I have here, this is a stencil girl stencil designed by the incredibly talented Pam Carricker. So. This is a face, as you can probably see, going up into the hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting her face here like that. And then so that you can see that what's going to happen is I'm going to be left with the negative showing. Um, there's a great range of stencils available in this similar design. And I think I've got most of them in my online store. So... I think you can see that that one there has got a really cool face design on it. What else have I got here? I've got this one here as well. Um, as you can see with mine, they are very well used. Uh, so the really cool thing is about these is that they are super versatile and you can use them in lots and lots of different ways. So I can't draw faces at all. I'm absolutely terrible at it, which is fine because, you know, you don't have to be good at everything. Um, so I might actually, I might actually put it on that side. Uh, so yeah, what, what I like about these is that a lot of the hard work is done for me. So I really, really love that look. So next thing I'm going to do before I put that face on is I've got one of my Natalie May scrapbooking Stamp sets and I'm going to just pop a little bit of repeat stamping in so this one says original art and I've cut it like that and I'm going to be using a black art and I'm going to be popping some stamping in and around the page so I always test it first to make sure that I don't do it upside down that it's stamping fine that it is nice. Oh, I love that stamp. And I'm going to be popping that around my page about where I know that I'm going to get some, some negative showing through. So where these bits are here. So I'm going to pop that up there. Perfect. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit up here. So I'm doing like a, an off stamping so that I'm not getting a perfect image every single time and that is exactly what I'm going for I want it to be more of a repeat rather than the focus um, to give you the perfect example of that on Facebook at the moment the lovely Alison Bevis from the crafty chain up in Queensland she created a an amazing art journal page using one of my stamp sets and she has created facial features and hair using the stamps it looks absolutely amazing I was blown away so um, all right so what I want to do now is I want to stencil in and around here so I'm going to use a blending sponge uh, I just got a massive shipment of these in yesterday so get on it these are fantastic for applying ink to um, or paint I should say with a stencil and that's what I'm going to do here so instead of going for black, I want to use, I'm going to use a combination of night and, not that one, night and marine. 
no balmy and I'm going to give that a bit of a shake Dun, 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 dun. Bear with me a second. Let me just fold that little baby over. Oh, goodness me. Here we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a small amount of washi tape just to secure my stencil in place. So I want it to go here and I do not want it to move. So I'm just going to pop a little washi down there. Then on my glass mat, I'm going to do a squirt of balmy and then a little bit of night. So I am still waiting for the glass mats to come back in stock. But what I do have in stock is I have got a shipment of the new Couture Creations ones. They came in this week and they are cheap as cheap. So I'm talking they are, I think, 20 bucks something like that, like ridiculous. Uh, so if you are after a glass mat, get on it because I don't know when the Tim Holtz ones are going to come in. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, can you? Let me just move that over. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting it on here, but I'm not putting it on too deep. And what I want to do is just tap that colour on. Oh, too much tapping. Sorry, guys. Everything's falling. So just want to tap that colour on, just like that. So I'm just giving my tool a little wriggle. I'm not making my image too saturated because if I saturate it, then I'm going to get too much bleed. I mean, I may get a little bit of bleed and that's okay, but I don't want too much at all. Sorry guys, I just realised I had my comments turned off so I couldn't see who was watching. Um, okay, so getting around here like this and I'm just dabbing that paint on. <laughs> All right, a little bit more paint. So where I've got this straight edge, I don't want this straight edge here. So I am going to bleed that out so what that means is i'm just going to lightly sponge that color on and i'm making sure i'm just going back here and making sure that everything is covered all righty so i was totally looking forward to this weekend i love the idea of doing all of these lovely live, live facebooks again and I've got two a day planned um, until Sunday. So make sure you pop back and have a bit of a look over the next few days. Um, and it's a good opportunity for me to, to catch up and doing a little crafting myself. So totally hanging out for it. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop those aside. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, goodness me. Wipe that off my glass mat. And I'm going to pull that up. So now I'm left with this lovely little face image in the corner here. So a couple of things I can do from here. I've still got color here on my sponge. So I'm going to, because I've, I, I've got, I haven't got blue anywhere else. So I need to blend that into there. So I need to take it up the side a bit. I need to incorporate this blue into the rest of my page. So this is where the blending sponge really, really helps. So, all right, so that's not too shabby. And I'm gonna pop that aside. Um, might take some more of this pink again and I might pop a little pink wow that's a lot of pink um, I'm gonna pop a bit of this pink with my finger and do a little bit more overlapping now so I'm building up some more color and blending in this area to my page 
So while I'm doing that, um, I'll go over a couple of the other little specials I've got going on this weekend um, and give you a bit of a update. Um, so 15% off stamps and stencils. So that includes Stencil Girl, which is a big win. Um, I've also got um, Lindy stuff, all the Lindy's products, all the embossing powders, they're all 15% uh, off as well. I have got oh, total brain fade here. Uh, paper packs, so Minte and AB Studios and 49 and Market, they are all on special as well. Um, I have got, all right, I'm just going to take my another sponge and pop a little bit of this pink flamingo and mix it with a little bit of blushing so that I have got some colour on my page. Um, yeah, so I've got a, a few different specials going on as well and every day there will be a new special. So what that means for you guys is you're forced to come back and watch me again, I know, right? Um, sorry, not sorry, and see what other specials I have got. So today's special uh, is Pintor Paint Pens, 15% uh, off. So they work out to be quite inexpensive. Um, really like that. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. Uh, so pair, Pintor Paint Pens, tomorrow's special, is oh, as if I'm going to tell you what that is, trick chair, um, is awesome as well. So I yeah have got another new special tomorrow. Now, rather than paying lots and lots of shipping, there is an option for you to pay shipping once on your first order uh, or your last order. But in the che at the checkout phase, if you just select the um, if you just select hold and put with all my other orders I will do that for you so then that way you can like put all your orders together and just pay postage once all right enough waffling okay so I've got this blue going on down here I'm gonna put some more stamping on it over the top of here as well but what I want to do is I need to balance out this blue so to do that I need to use my sponge and I want to pop some more of these images on somewhere. Um, so which one am I going to do? I think that... I might do this one. So I've got to use this blue again. And I haven't got any more paint. I've wiped it all off. So I'm going to just use my, my dirty sponge. Um, and... Just manoeuvre that colour in there, like so. And I am going to need some more paint. What do I do with it? Here we go. Um, so, yeah, there you go. So, lots and lots of really cool things happening. And I just received notification that there is another order coming in from America, hopefully today or tomorrow, which is good for you because it has got some cool stuff in it, which I cannot remember. So that will be going up online. Oh yeah, baby. That will be going up online as soon as it gets here. And I organize the costings and all those things. Either that or I'll wait till Jess gets home from school and she can do it. Did everyone see this week? My little girl got her pea plates. <sighs> wow. Mind blown. I don't quite know how that happened. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm going to put this one here, I think. Um, yeah, I was saying, um, saying last month when I did a little live Facebook, when I first started scrapbooking and teaching, Jessica was three. And now she is 17 with her pea plates and a really lovely boyfriend hey Max if you're watching um, if you're watching you shouldn't be you should be at school um, but yeah so isn't that funny how life just 
happens and we blink and you know how it all goes. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is I'm just laying down a bit of a foundation. I know I'm going to do a little bit of drawing um, with the Pintor paint pens in a minute. So I'm just giving myself some images to outline. Okay, so these are fantastic, these blending sponges, not only for Distress Oxides, which I will be using later on in the over the weekend to do demos with, um, but they're excellent for paint because it just puts on just a nice amount of paint. So, and a dirty sponge can go a very, very long way. So what I'm going to do is wipe that bit off before it dries. Yeah, that's better. Um, and I'm going to, now you can see I've kind of, it's, it's balanced. I've got blue up here and I've got blue down here. I need to wipe off that paint off my mat before it dries. And now I'm going to add a little bit of doodling with my pen and finishing it off with a little bit of stamping, a bit more stamping. So. I can see the original art coming in under her face and I'll bring that up to camera so that you can see that. And there's some in underneath this little focal point up here as well. Um, okay, what else have we got? All right, I'm gonna use this one. So this is from my Blah 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 stamp set and I'm gonna use the original art stamp so uh, when you buy these red rubber stamps that I have designed they come in a whole piece of red rubber and you need to cut them down now one of the girls in the last when I was doing the last video asked me what scissors do you use to cut them use your red handled Tim Holtz scissors because they have a fantastic serrated edge I keep forgetting to pick mine up where are they um, serrated edge that makes it really really easy to cut cut the stamps so I'm not going to put it on a glass block I'm going to use it freehand and what I want to do is I want to create a little bit of interest around my page and I didn't check to see if that was upside down oh thank god good save I'll pop that up there yeah I like that and then I'm going to pop a little bit more. So I'm using the Black Archival ink again because I want it to be nice and crisp and I want, there we go. Um, and I, I haven't decided if I'm going to add more paint to this. So Archival ink means that the paint's not going to budge later. Um, all right, a little bit down there, and I am good. I just re-inked that, so it is super inky. And because it is an oil-based, black um, archival ink is an oil-based ink, before I dry it, otherwise it is actually going to smudge a little bit under my fingers. So these little art journals, I've got, um, I can see a black one and three of the plain ones on the shelf here at the moment. They're quite inexpensive. They're a good little size to create in. And I have no problems whipping out this, this size to create in. It took me a while, admittedly. I struggled as a scrapbooker. I struggled to create in this size journal because I kept looking as every, everything is a 12 by 12 uh, art journal page. So it took me a while to get the hang of it. So some of my art journal pages are really painty and then I've got others which are mini versions of ones that I've done in my big journal but it has certainly taken me a while to create in this lovely little journal but they're really really fun once you get going and start creating in them so um, anything you can do on a card front you can do in a journal anything you can do on a scrapbook page you can do in a journal um, a lot of people struggle with, oh, look, there's that same, same mask stencil that I've used again. Um, a lot of people struggle to, to work in a, an art journal because they can't see the point, and that's okay. 
for me, art journaling is about trying a new technique and trying something new and then shutting the book. And if uh, you... I wanted more paint, didn't I? Um, and if you don't like it, you can turn the page. That's what I really love about art journaling. Whereas, you know, some people do it for other reasons. And that's, that's you know, everyone has their own. It's perfect creative outlet for some people. For me, it's all about trying a new technique, having a play, creating to relax. And I think that that's really important as well. So I'm just popping a little bit of yellow over here as a pop with my finger. Um, it bugs me that I've cut that off on there, but I'll come back and fix that later. Um, all right, Pintor paint pens. So these guys are fantastic. These are a similar sort of paint pen to a Posca pen, but these are these have got more pigment in them. Uh, they also come. I've got a, this one's six bucks, but all of the others are five dollars. So they and I've reduced them down to fifteen percent as well. So what I want to do with my Pintor paint pens today is I just want to add a little bit of scribbling and journaling and outlining some of these um, images around here. Now, it would have been good to perhaps open a darker blue one, but I don't want to do that yet. So I've got a, a pale blue here, and actually I don't want a pale blue. I have got a fine tip pink and I'm just going to add a little bit of detoy, detailing around my heart. Um, the other thing that you can do with these paint pens and I've done a project for Stencil Girl that is coming up soon is that you can draw on things like coffee cups and plates and heat set them. So you can create Father's Day gifts because apparently that's coming up and you can do coffee cups for dad. You can do all sorts of bits and pieces um, and heat set them and put them in the oven so that they are permanent. So I'm just doing some little touches just to highlight a couple of little points on these images that I have put on. And I love that these are really, really nice. So I don't want too much around the place. The white's fantastic. This is the medium, um, but I'm using it quite lightly so that I don't get too much. Uh, and then I'm going to, actually I'm gonna leave that one. But the white is magnificent. I love, love, love the white. So if I want to do some journaling on here or some scribbling, I, I can use that. Um, I'm going to use the black to do some scribbling. And nine times out of ten, the first time you use it, it should work perfectly. Yep, look at that. So give it a good shake and you're good to go. Um, I'm not writing anything in particular. I'm doing what um, is called asymmetric, I think it is, writing. I think that's what Dean Wakeley calls it. I just call it scribbling. But it's kind of layering up over the top of my stamping and my images. I can write something there if I thought about it a bit more, but, you know, I can't be bothered. Um, So popping a little up the top here and I'm using a, a light hand. I'm not thinking about it, I'm just getting it done. So in the past I have been known to write subliminal, subliminal, subliminal messages. I can't even speak today. And put all sorts in there but this is going to work for me. And then in a moment I'm just going to wait for that to dry. No, I'm not going to heat set it. I'm going to pop some white writing over the top. So it's about building layers. I'm not covering anything up. I'm just building 
building layers, creating different elements to look at, elements that you go, oh, I wonder what she's done there. That is what I'm creating. I'm not fussed about making it look super awesome to impress you because that's not why I create at all. I create for my happy um, rather than your happy, uh, if that makes sense. And that's that's what works for me. So um, right now, just layer over the top. And if it's too white, while it's still wet, I can just dab it off with a little bit of a pen there and that's done. Um, so I've also got some new kits online as well. I've got a couple of uh, scrapbook pages, uh, some cards. I've got a special on at the moment where it's a, a 2021 calendar because let's be honest, we all want 2020 to be done with. Um, so that's a little $11 kit, which might make a perfect gift for someone as well. I, uh, and I have just, and I'm about to, sorry, I should say this afternoon, a new kit will be going online, which is one that I have done before, but I've managed to get some more papers and re-release it. So you'll find that going up um, in the new for, new arrivals for August, going up this afternoon. I've uh, just got the instructions in at the printers at the moment. So there is also a, a painty card kit available online as well. Uh, I've had a few people ask me to do some painty mixed media style kits. They can be a little bit difficult to do because I've got, you know, putting all of this across is quite difficult in into words, of course, but... Um, I thought that I would give it a go and do a kit for you to do that. All right, so I'm kind of liking where this is going. I am thinking that it just needs a strong title. Uh, so I will, I might find some alphabets. I've got some alphas and might come up with a nice big title that goes across here. But I'm, I'm kind of liking where it's going. I could be adding some more stenciling. There's lots and lots of things that I can do to build up my layers. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of liking where this is going. Um, so just to recap on what I have done here is I used acrylic paint in the background, Dina Wakely and Dilusions paints in the background and used a palette knife, wherever it's gone, somewhere safe, here we go. Um, catalyst tool, just to swipe those on. I used a Stencil Girl stencil with a baby wipe to take off some of those images in the background there. So that worked pretty, pretty well. And uh, I then used, what do we do next? We did the, no, we did the stamping. So I used my new stamps. So the blah, blah, blah set and um, a couple of others to create some interest in the background. I then used the face. Now that is a Stencil Girl stencil. So they are all 15% off at the moment and used a blending sport, blending tool to put that color on. And finished it off with using the Pintor paint pens to just highlight a couple of little images around my page and do some squiggle as well. So nice and simple. So if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, you will find today only the Pintor paint pens are 15% off. So that will end at 10 p.m. tonight or whenever I go to bed, that'll stop. Um, <laughs> and... Stencils and stamps are 15% off as well. So you can stock up on those. What else have we got? We have got alcohol inks. They are on special. And I might just pop some black pen around this guy here, I reckon. Um, alcohol inks are on special. I've got all paper collections on special as well. 15% off. Minte, cut apart. Sheets and Distress Oxides, you'll find those in the show specials. 
and yeah that's about it and if you've already done an order like I said before you can select hold so then you don't miss out on that item and I can just post it all on Monday after you have seen all of the items that are on special this weekend so that's it from me for today I need to do a trip to the post office and I need to pack some of these orders for those of you who have asked for them to be posted out today. Um, and other than that, um, yeah, have a fantastic afternoon. If you have any questions, flick me a message. I'm more than happy to help you out. And um, yeah, have a fantastic day. Wash your hands, kiss your kids. And I will speak to you all really, really soon.